Alison Torres, played by Jennifer Gardner, was a super adventurous young woman who met Carlos Torres, played by Edgar Ramirez, also adventurous in his own right. They met each other, had adventures together, and eventually settled down and had children. After years of family life, the couple realizes they have become no fun, play it safe boundary setters. Mom is the unhappy house dictator, and Dad never wants to be the bad guy. Sadly, their children feel as if they can't do anything right. This is when the family decides they need to try a new fad, the Yes Day. Mom and Dad have to say yes to everything the kids want for 24 hours. Don't worry though guys, there are some ground rules. Let's get into my over opinion of this one. The negatives. This movie makes me realize I'm a bit cynical and I get overly concerned that the kids that they are doing on the screen shouldn't be doing the stuff that they're doing. So therefore I have trouble not wanting to criticize them and control them every little thing they do because it bugs me. It's like, ah, you guys are getting away with everything. <laughs> Drives me nuts, it bugs. There is a particular scene in the movie, it's also in the trailer, where they are going through the car wash, the kids, that's the yes day, and they're like, roll down the window, do it. Should we draw and roll down the window during the car wash? Yeah, let's do it, all right, let's do it. And they roll down the window, and it just bugs the crowd out of me. That just drives me nuts. I can't deal with that. Not only would they damage the car's interior and be a pain in the rear to clean with all those chemicals and waxes and everything, I'm pretty sure your skin would react to that. It would be very bad to get those chemicals, those car washing chemicals on you. Another thing I didn't like about this movie, and a lot of Hollywood movies do this, it's the classic, we're gonna do this all in one day thing. And they end up doing things that would take a week to do all the things. I mean, going to park and playing a football game takes half the day before you know it. it's like, oh, it's only 5 p.m. already? Wow, what happened with the time? So there's no way they could get away with all these things in one day. It does that too, this movie. Now Life Lesson Time, where I find something in the movie that can help us learn to build better lives for ourselves. Oh my gosh, this movie totally highlights the fear and having to control everything because your fear and you have lack of faith that things are going to work out. Just control, control, control. Trying to run the whole dang show. This movie really highlights how that can make you a miserable person. It is super easy to worry about everyone and try to control everything because I'm fearful or you know, one is fearful for all the things that could happen. So you gotta control everything, but you can't do it. It drives you nuts. Not only that, but the people that you're controlling or animals too. I've had this with animals too. They have their own will, God forbid. And they passively resist you all the time and stab at you and poke at you and it wears you out. You're miserable, they're miserable, everyone's miserable doesn't work. Give them some space. Micromanaging people will only drive you crazy and make that person manipulative and do what they want. Anyways, what I'm getting at is in order to build a better life, you should have people who support you and you support them. In order to support people, you have to encourage and help. You can't micromanage them. And that's just reality. And this movie really highlighted that for me. But hey guys, that's just my opinion. Take what you want and leave the rest. I'm nobody important. I'm just a guy. Let's jump into the positive, guys. The actors do a decent job on this movie, albeit a little over the top at the ending of how it happens and how they pull things, things off. It's like, what? But I do how they, like how they show that the kids need boundaries and it's not just yes to everything, but the parents need to mellow out a little bit. The kids need to learn to expect boundaries, but should be allowed to figure out their own things in their life. I really like that part about it. I think this movie is made for families and for kids. It's like, I think it's a sit down with the family and the kids and enjoy it and laugh. Say, hey, we should do it yesterday and maybe encourage them to do something like this too, which I think is a great idea. In a way, it kind of reminds me of The Parent Trap. I'm not real sure why, but it kind of does. And it's a nice, fun family movie. This movie, however, is not my genre, my niche or my type of thing. So I don't appreciate it as much as it's not as relatable as I would have liked it to be. However, if I had a family or I was a kid, I think I would enjoy this movie and, and find it fun and it would encourage a fun activity for the family to, to bond together. So I really like that idea. So I think if I were a family genre type of person like these type of movies, I would totally be into it and I would like it. But no, my review is gonna be based on some of what I like and based on the perspective of understanding that perspective of a family movie goer. Watch a person. Anyhow, I'm giving the Netflix original 2021 movie Yes, day a six out of ten. Six out of ten. Peace. Yeah, boy.